The Mercedes-Benz LO2000 was quite an innovative design, as it was the world's first diesel-powered light truck. This vehicle, as well as subsequent variants, would also see use with the German Wehrmacht during the Second World War. However, it was also one of the more common truck designs used by the Chinese military during World War II. First manufactured by Mercedes-Benz in 1932, its name comes from the fact that it had a payload of 2,000 kilograms, or 2 tons. The LO2000 was powered by the 3.8 liter, 55 horsepower OM59 diesel engine, which gave it a top speed of roughly 65 kilometers per hour. The chassis of the LO2000 was of a multi-purpose design, allowing different types of bodies to be mounted on it, including vans, buses, and trucks. In 1937, the LO2000 underwent a slight redesign and was renamed the L2000. Although both left and right-hand drive versions of this vehicle exist, the one sent to China appears to have been right-hand drive. In 1935, during the Sino-German cooperation period, the German company Otto Wolf AG based in Cologne began discussions with the Chinese government to import the L2000 trucks from Germany. The agreement between Otto Wolf and Daimler-Benz was finalized in April of 1936 and soon after, the vehicles began to arrive in China. Records aren't clear on the total numbers ordered, but it was still a major contract for Daimler-Benz, numbering in the thousands, and by March of 1938, the factory at Gaggenau had already produced over 2,000 vehicles for the Chinese. Only the chassis were to be imported into China, with the rest of the vehicle being produced domestically. The China Automobile Company, owned by the Chinese government, was responsible for manufacturing the rest of the vehicle and assembling it. Since the cabs and bodies were produced domestically, this resulted in some unique Chinese variants of the L2000, not seen in any other country. Some sources state that the L3000 truck was imported as well. However, most period photos and footage seems to show the L2000, although it is extremely difficult to tell the difference between the two, especially if looking at just the chassis. Starting in 1937, the manufacturing of parts and vehicle assembly were conducted at a plant in the city of Zhuzhou in Hunan province, although a year later the plant would be moved to Guilin in Guangxi province to keep it out of the range of the advancing Japanese. The first vehicles would arrive in China before that, however, around mid-1936 and were assembled in Shanghai. The Chinese took full advantage of the multi-purpose chassis of the L2000, and many of the first vehicles, instead of being used by the military, were actually civilian ones, built as buses, and were often seen operating on long-distance routes, such as between Shanghai and the city of Taichang in Jiangsu province. The L2000s weren't the only buses with German chassis being used in China, and these types of vehicles proved to be quite popular as their robust and reliable designs made them suitable for traveling on the often poor condition roads in rural areas. Later on, focus shifted from buses to trucks, and the L2000s began to appear in the Chinese military as well, being used by not just the infantry, but also the few armored and motorized artillery units in China at the time. Following the start of hostilities with Japan in mid-1937, the chassis could no longer be shipped by sea as all of the Chinese ports had been lost. Instead, like many of the other supplies, they had to come into the country through overland routes. Initially, they were imported through French Indochina, which shares a border with China's Guangxi province. However, later on, the chassis had to come in through the Soviet Union, with the route traveling through northwestern China. Some vehicles may have been assembled at cities along these routes, as photos have shown the L2000s being used at places such as Lanzhou, an important Chinese city along the Soviet supply route. Production of the L2000 in Germany would stop in 1940, and the importations of these vehicles into China would stop soon after that. Around the same time, China would begin domestic production of the L2000 truck, manufacturing not just the cabs and bodies, but also the chassis as well. Known simply as the China type or China model, very little is known about these vehicles, and few, if any, photos exist of them. The L2000 would be used all the way through World War II by both the military as well as civilians, and would be remembered for being one of the earlier domestically manufactured diesel trucks belonging to a foreign brand.